Truth TV here coming um, back here with another video. Um, we have a story a lot of you are familiar with Saudi Ashula. She's, you know, was the woman who had this Dubai um, Black Panther prom theme for her son. She was in the news to, um, about Social Security disability fraud. And I'm going to show you um, two... I'm going to show you um, two news stories. One is coming from Fox 29 and one is uh, CBS um, in Philadelphia. I'm going to show you these two news stories. And I want you to pay attention on what they say. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to um, give out my commentary. Chance to perhaps meet a celebrity. Mm -mm. These people just wanted backpacks. A great giveaway in North Philadelphia. But what might surprise you is the woman running it, while known for throwing over the top parties, is now facing federal fraud charges. Fox 29, Seanette Wilson, live now in North Philly. Seanette. Well, Lucy, despite the severity of what she is facing right now, she didn't miss a beat. This event held this evening was just as grand as all the others. Uh, the last event she gave was actually a holiday party to help parents in need provide gifts for their children. This is what I do. This is what makes me happy to give back. Sadia Schuler had no comment this evening about federal charges she's facing involving alleged Social Security fraud. And I don't want to talk about that. Today is a happy day. Um, this is what it's about. Over 5,000 kids got book bags. And this is what it's about. She wanted to focus on her back to school giveaway that she holds every year for families in her North Philly neighborhood. They came out to support her despite what she's going through right now. Of course. Schuler, 44 years old, was charged last week with six counts of wire fraud, one count of theft of government funds, and two counts of Social Security fraud. She's accused of applying for Social Security benefits, saying she was disabled but still continuing to work. Despite the allegations, today's event, in true Saudi style, was a huge block party. Sky Fox threw over a line that wrapped around the block. Awesome. This year we gave out 5,000 book bags. I've never given over 2,000 book bags before, so this is really huge for me. This year we was able to give out college stuff. We gave out um, laptops. We gave out printers. We gave out refrigerators. Volunteers offered resources for families, and community members say Saudia gives back year-round. She looked out for everybody, and I appreciate that. She came to my house and gave me everything for me and my kids. She says business owners from all over help her out. A lot of people help me. Um, ShopRite helped me. Boom Philly helped me. Daily Dub Daycare helped me. And when those charges uh, were announced last week, many of Saudi's supporters got right on social media to post and retweet all the good things she's done in the community. Lucy. Lavish prom send-offs and over-the-top community giveaways is added again a week after federal prosecutors charged her with Social Security fraud. Today, Saudi Schuler held a book bag drive at her restaurant, The Country Cookin'. Chopper 3 was overhead as hundreds wrapped around the block at 22nd and Lehigh. She brought together sponsors to provide enough book bags and supplies for 3,000 kids. What's I'm going to do it. I'm, still, I'm never going to stop doing what I do. Yeah. This is what I do. I, everything I do is about the kids. I started this when my son was a little kid in um, school. Because I seen like a lot of kids, we got t-shirts, socks, and all that. Because you know, like a lot of kids, they don't have it. So, this is what I do. Her elaborate Dubai-themed prom send-off for her son last year went viral. So, um, basically, um, what you saw on that piece was the lady said these people... Now, that's why I tell people to pay attention how it is worded, how certain um, pieces are worded, and how they say certain things. Why didn't you just say um, thousands of kids were standing in line around her business, but they said these people? And, you know, a lot of people took to social media on that, and even Saudi Ashula took to her um, social media media account on Instagram saying that she will never do another interview with Fox 29 News because, you know, of how they treated her. All they talked about was, you know, the charges she was facing. They didn't want to bring up what she was doing for her community. And we've had people, you know, and then you have these certain people talking about, well, why don't you do for yourselves? Why don't you do for yourselves? You know, 
Y'all should, you know, pull yourself together by your bootstrap. She's given out thousands of book bags. She's done gave out um, laptops, printers, refrigerators. She has helped out her community in a big way. She's helped her community out in a big way. But all people want to focus on, they want to focus on, oh, well, she's fraud. She, she needs to be put in jail. And then you have a lot of black people that are rooting for her downfall, too. And that's the sad part about it. You have certain black people rooting for her downfall. They can't wait to see her fall because they're either jealous or they don't have what she has. It's like... You know, we can't win for losing because a lot of people are jealous of each other and that stems from self-hate because we will sit there and we'll be jealous of what somebody else have, but we don't want to see nobody successful because they're not successful because, and right now it's basically misery loves company to some people. Misery loves company. If I don't have it, I don't want you to have it. If you're doing good in the community, I'm going to take you down. And this is what a lot of people, and this is why we are at odds with each other. And then, you know, you have the racist uh, white people who will say the same thing and say, well, I can't wait to say the same thing. They want her downfall, too. But I expect that. I, I expect that. She hasn't done anything wrong. She hasn't, you know, harmed her community. She doesn't go out there promote violence. She's going out there doing for her community, giving people backpacks to go to school. And this is what she's doing. You know, she's doing a lot for her community to people that can't really afford certain things that's struggling she's helping them out and that's what a lot of people need to do if i had you know had it like that i would do the same thing i would you know give out stuff and, and give out book bags and give out things you know you know just if i you know I'm not that business savvy yet, but I'm, I'm going to get I'm going to get there sooner or later. But we need to start doing this for our community and stop, you know, waiting for some other groups of people to help us. Stop waiting on the so-called white man to help us. We got to start doing for ourselves. And she's doing it for herself. She's she's good. She has a son. She's doing it for a community. She's helping out the, un, the underprivileged people. She's helped a lot of people in that community. And um, big ups to her because we need more people like that. I haven't gone to her um, restaurant yet and um, done anything. But she's she like she's done right for her community. And for Fox to focus on the charges, to focus on the alleged fraud scheme, why are you focused on that? This is about the kids. This is about helping the kids out. Getting the kids ready for school and all Fox 29 was focused on, they were focusing on um, what she did. And then the other news piece showed that they only focused on the kids, focused on her doing right by her community, not worried about the charges yet. You know, if she did that, was she wrong for doing that? Yeah, she was wrong for doing that. But, you know, how many other people make mistakes? But you don't vilify them for this. But you vilify this woman. And she's helping out her community. And you know. And you have a few of our people. Rooting for her downfall. It's sad. But um, tell me what you think about this video. Oh no by the way. And by the way you know. I don't watch Fox 29 like that. Unless it's Fox Sports or something on TV. That I like to watch. I, and, and you know. It's own. People say, well, it's not owned by Fox News, but Fox News and Fox 29, the local news, they all in the same boat. They all in the mainstream media. It's all about propaganda. So tell me what you think about this. Um, please leave a comment and subscribe and I'll check you out in the next video.